Hi, I'm Marike Nijkamp and I'm a writer. And I'm illustrator Sylvia B. and together we created Ink Girls. A story about a princess apprentice, a princess and a pirate who band together to save their city. And in this video, we'll teach you how to create a graphic novel in five easy steps. Every story starts with an idea. Maybe it's something that you're excited about. Maybe it's a question you have, like, what if you're a superhero and you can fly but you're afraid of heights? Or what happens in the haunted school after midnight? Or what if your mentor gets arrested because she was brave enough to call out injustice and suddenly it's up to you to save your home? Once you have an idea for your story, you need to figure out who tells your story. Who are the main characters? What are their names? What do they look like? And what makes them unique? For In Girls, we had three main characters. Cynthia, the printer's apprentice. She always wants to do the right thing. Elena, the princess. She wants to understand the world. And Carlotta, the pirate. She wants to make the world better. I start writing a script. The first thing I do is divide the story up into pages. And then I write down what I want to happen on every single page. Like Cynthia and Elena escaping the palace. Then I take those pages and divide them up into panels. Here is a panel where the girls come out of a secret passageway. And this is the city they need to get back to. Of course, it's not just all description. This is also where you get to write down what your characters say and even think, because that's important too. Once you know what's going to be on a page, you can start drawing it immediately, but ideally you want to start with a sketch or a thumbnail. A rough draft of what the page will look like. For me, that tends to be like a roadmap for the guide of the rest of the illustrations. The part of thumbnails that everyone gets like bogged down by is zooming in too early, but what you really want to do is just keep yourself zoomed out, look at the entire image as a whole, and make sure all of the speech bubbles, the panels, and the characters are working. The best part is no one will ever see any of these sketches because they will be completely deleted in the final product. So go as messy as you want. Finally, we're at the last step, which is inks and colors. This is the best time to do all of the crazy fun details that you didn't get to do in sketches. I like to draw characters first and do the backgrounds afterwards, but this is a great time to make sure everybody's eyebrows are correct, make sure all of the horses have four legs, not five legs, uh, make sure the background buildings all have windows and doors so characters can actually walk in and out of them. All of the things that you need to consider for like a well-built world. So after inks are done, you can move on to colors. Uh, colors is the place to make the entire page vibrant and lively and incredibly exciting for the reader. What I enjoy most about coloring and the most difficult part are kind of one and the same. It's hard to make your characters pop out from a scene when the entire city is so vibrant and full of color. And so adding like little spotlights, like adding strokes of white along their hair or using adding more lighting on top of uh, the background that they're standing on can really help to push them forward. So, are you ready to create your own graphic novel? Everyone has a story inside them, waiting to come to life. All you need is a pen, paper, and just remember to have fun. We can't wait to see what you create. 